Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm going to do a little series here, probably not very long, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. See how it goes. Um, may help a lot of people out if you're into, if you're really interested in electronics. Uh, this is on digital, so it's uh, as I have drawn on the screen here, I have your AND gates, your NAND gate, NOR, and OR. Um, somebody was asking me because they were learning electronics and they were asking me about how to remember the tables and stuff, so I was like, well, uh, here's the way I learned a long time ago and I don't remember who told me it, but it was, it clicked. And so I figured I, I remember it. So this is the way I actually remembered it. and it relates to any number of inputs to any of these gates. So, uh, helps out quite a bit. Uh, so it's real simple the way to remember it is you write them out as and, and, nor, or, and then you have your input and output, zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. So <clears throat> in a normal truth table, you typically have your, your two inputs, well, your, your two inputs and then your output. So this way, it's kind of doing the same thing, but all you're doing is you're just writing it in and out, and you're listing the gates that you want. And you need to remember the order that you're doing it in, because this output represents everything that's in here. So the way I remember it is in this portion here, this is any. Always remember any. This is any number. Any numbers of inputs, will rec this output will happen. So on an AND gate, any zero in will be at a zero on your output. On an AND gate, any zero in will give you a one on the output. On an OR gate, any one in will give you a zero out. And on an OR gate, any one in gives you a one out. So any number of the inputs gives you these outputs. So if that's, uh, hopefully that helps you out in the future for any of these. Uh, I know that a lot of people still may remember the, a lot of this old stuff, um, especially if you're drawing schematics, but uh, hopefully this helps you. And if you write it down, you know, burn it in your brain, you'll never forget it. It comes in handy, especially when you're troubleshooting some stuff. Or for that matter, if you're actually designing. So I hope this helps. And so if you like it, give me a thumbs up on that. If you don't like it, thumbs down is fine too. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Please subscribe. And if you... Uh, or if you don't, if you if you have ideas, leave that in the comment too. If you you know maybe somebody else might have a better better way of remembering it. And I I'm always up to learning new stuff, so uh, hopefully this helps. And I will see you in the next video. All right, thanks.